The fiery words of this pastor have set off waves of anger and disappointment throughout Phoenix. I hate Barack Obama. You say, well, you just mean you, you don't like what he stands for. No, I hate the person. No, oh, hey, you mean you just don't like his policy. No, I hate him. Now, I'm going to prove this from the Bible tonight, why I should hate Barack Obama. Why God wants me to hate Barack Obama. Why God hates Barack Obama. Residents lined the streets near the Faithful Word Baptist Church this weekend to protest Stephen Anderson's shocking sermon. It's hard to believe that we could have someone of a, of a religious nature sitting there saying that he wishes our president to be dead. In his evening service about a month ago, Anderson used biblical scriptures to justify his prayer for the president's death. Why should Barack Obama die like the untimely birth of a woman? Why should his children be fatherless and his wife a widow, as we read in this passage? Well, I'll tell you why. Because since Barack Obama thinks it's okay to use a salty solution, right, to abort the unborn, because that's how abortions are done, my friend, and the embryo melts like a snail. And I'd like to see Barack Obama melt like a snail. This man owns a business next door to the Faithful Word Church. He's one of dozens who has personally confronted Anderson about his controversial position. Why should we take it up on ourselves to wish anyone that they should be killed or die? Anderson's sermon isn't the first time anti-abortion activists have spoken out against President Obama and pro-choice lawmakers. Back in July, a group gathered near the Supreme Court to voice their opposition to the president's nomination of Sonia Sotomayor to the nation's highest court. They argued that Judge Sotomayor would uphold Roe v. Wade, the 36-year-old case that made abortion legal. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.